Hello friends, welcome back to Cool IT Help. This is new Java FX video tutorial session for you. This is Java FX UI control session. We are going to discuss about the label in Java FX application. Look at this stage. We have the text wrapping feature. Also, we can apply some effect on label as well. But here I have added the image on the label as well. Also, you can rotate the labels and adjust as per your requirement and you can enhance the look and feel with these features of the labels so we are going to discuss about these three points first one how to wrap a text to fit a specific position so we will see uh, both kind of ways like we can do it by coding by simply calling some methods also we can adjust through the fxml the second one how to add a graphical image as you have seen i have added one image on that label the third point is applying some visual effects like rotating a label and applying a zoom effect so we are going to discuss all these things in this tutorial session let's begin Okay guys, now I'm here in the NetBeans IDE 8.0 and I have created one FXML based project and I'm here in this project uh, explorer tab. Now I have just opened the FXML file in front of you with the help of a scene builder. And you can see I have a single stage and I have added one label on my base pan. So here, first we are going to look that wrapping of the text so first i'm going to assign one fx id to this label you can see on the right hand side i have given this uh, fx id and just saved it now i'm uh, coming back here in the controller file so you can see this is the fxml variable declaration right here and after that we have this uh, default method which comes with uh, creation of this project so i have just deleted it and now we are inside in this initialize method so we are looking the wrapping of the text so i am preparing and setting a text on the label in the first step so label dot set set text and putting this text on it and after that to wrap the text we have to call this method label dot set wrap text and pass the boolean true only these two lines are sufficient that's it now saving this file and uh, going to run here we go for the clean build build success now we can run it simply click on the right button or you can press right click here on this main file and run it and guys you will see the text wrapping on the stage for this label but this is not looking uh, properly fit so now i will show you you can adjust it you can expand the width width of this label text so i have to add one more method label dot set pref width and 200 so I have given the width that 200 pixel is required. Now the text will be fit within the given width of that label. So this way you can adjust it as per your requirement. You can increase the width of this. You can use any length of text according to that you can adjust the width. Now. Now I'm taking another label on the same stage. So I have just added this one. Now assigning the new FX ID to this label. This is label two. Okay, now just minimized it. I'm back here in uh, NetBeans. Okay, now inside the controller, label two dot set text. So first way I have done it through the code so we calling the method on the label one on the label line 33 and 34 now the same thing we are going from the fxml 
so I am going to use this label too. So at this place, I will set only the text and rest of the settings will be done from the FXML settings. So I'm going to use the same text as I have used for the label, first label. Okay, here we go. Okay, I am set, I'm setting only the label text from this place and I will adjust rest of the things or I will perform the text wrapping from the right hand side, these inspector uh, window. So open this layout and uh, under this layout we have uh, some uh, properties so we can stretch it. So you can simply use the mouse and you can expand the width of this label as much as you want. So you can see the prefer preferred width is now 191 and now come at this place you will see the preferred height is different no matter you can look at the bottom you will see the exact height and width because we are using mouse drag and drop so we just increased the width, width to 191 and now the height is 16 or you have to go here max width and select this option use pref size that's it and save this file also we have to go here in the properties and then we have to check this box wrap text that's it okay now we will take a clean build of uh, this one and now again we will run it this file here we go and the stage is appeared now you can see the second label is displaying the text wrap properly as we were expecting we have both way if uh, programmatically so you can simply call the methods which I have shown you or uh, if you want the static wrapping of the text so simply go and uh, you can set through the FXML okay now I'm going to add one more label on the same stage on the same FXML and adjusting little bit all these labels here okay now I will perform the second thing so I will apply a graphics I will add a PNG file on this label so label also can hold a PNG file so I will show you how you can do it now the same thing we have to assign the FX ID to this label as well now this label is label 3 and saving this FXML going back here in the controller file and we have to declare one more at the rate FXML variable this is label 3 and also guys I have just created one image this is like.png and this is placed in the base package and the size is 374 by 50 so this is just an example uh, if you have any icon image so you can use it so just completely depend on your requirement how much big size of the image you want and now here is the code to apply the image on the label look at the line number 38 image object new image and then we have to call this image via get resource stream so you have to simply pass the image because I have placed the image here in the base package look on the left hand side so there is no need to give the complete path simply give the name and this will pick up your image and you will get your image object ready once you get the image object ready so you have to call label 3 dot set graphics method set graphic then you have to pass one uh, node and because the image object is not a node so to convert this image object to a node we have to use the image view and this image view class object will be treated as a node for this set graphic method so we doing like this new image view and passing that image object here that's it only these two lines are required to set image icon on the label that's it 
we have done it. Now I'm saving this file and again going for a clean build. Okay guys, now the stage is appeared and you can see the image is set on the label properly and displaying on the stage. So this is the way you can apply the icon image on any label. I hope all uh, these things are clear to you guys. And now we are going to do one uh, additional last thing which is applying uh, visual effects like rotating a label. You can rotate the label from the FXML as well. And then we will see how to apply the zoom effect. Okay. So now I'm here in the FXML and I will show you how you can rotate it. You have to go here in the layout section and here come at this place in this transformation part and you have this uh, property like rotate. So you can simply give the value at here in the text box and press enter that, that at what degree you want to rotate your label 90 95 96 or you can simply this use this slider so i have just as just adjusted it on a 50 degree just taking the belt going to run this file and we will see look at this so this way you can rotate your level and please wherever you want at any angle so the these features are very small but these are useful. That's why I have uh, created this session and I'm telling you everything in detail. Now I'm uh, resetting this on the its original position at horizontal level. Now we are going to apply zoom effect. Okay, to apply the zoom effect, I have this code ready and let me copy this code. We'll paste it here in this controller file. Okay, now I will explain you what is happening here. So let me apply this on the label 3. Basically, we are setting the mouse hover event and on the mouse hover, we are scaling that label. That means we are increasing the size of the label. You can see and this is the very simple code set on mouse entered and then we have uh, this uh, mouse event handling uh, way and uh, we are using here the lambda expression and uh, basically we are implementing the mouse event handle uh, method here this way so simply passing the mouse event uh, reference object and then every time when you uh, mouse put your mouse cursor on the label then this method will be called and uh, what is only two statements inside that is scaling the image or the label if image is applied so that will be scaled to 1.5 percent on the x axis and uh, the scale image will be scaled on y axis 1.5 percent and now we are uh, handling the second event like uh, set on mouse exit if you take off your mouse uh, from the image then this event will be called and what will happen two statement will be executed line number 47 and line number 48 so this comes to its original position okay this is very simple and very straightforward code we are simply handling the mouse hover event. Now I'm taking the clean window and I will show you what is happening here. Okay, let me run this first. Now see here on the stage this way. So I'm taking my cursor on this label, then the size is increasing 1.5%. So I have applied the scaling 1.5% on the x axis and 1.5% on y axis. Okay, look at this. So as per your requirement, you can reduce this value or you can increase the value. If your image is very small, you can increase more than 1.5%, 5%, 2%, 4%, 8%.
So simple, you have to increase the value and the size will be increased on your label. So this can be a pop-up pop up effect or uh, if you're applying the image icon on the label, so you will get this mouse hover effect. So guys, we have seen these uh, simple and uh, very uh, good feature about the label. So we have the wrapping, we can apply the graphical image, we can apply some visual effects on it. And I hope all these concepts are clear to you. If you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful, please hit the like button and uh, you can subscribe. Cool IT help. And guys, for now, thanks for watching. Cool IT help.